Well, it is Wednesday, so that means it's time for books. And joining us is our book editor and CEO of HumanOnline.com, Marva Allen. Hey, Marva. How are you? I'm doing great. How are you doing? Wonderful. You look marvelous, Thank as you. always. Thank you. I'm excited to talk about these, the, these books because they're very different. They are. Uh, and I'm intrigued by a couple of them, so let's get going. Right. First of all, Ian Levant Van Zandt. Anybody who has ever watched Oprah will know who she is. She yes. had her own show, has written a few books. She has written many, many books and came to the world as an author. And, you know, she's now considered a guru of psychological and emotional stability, um, so to speak, and her Fix My Life on, on OWN. Uh, out of that comes this book, Forgiveness. And it's that time of the year where people are always, you know, people who are alone get kind of depressed, and the root cause of it, I know so many people, adults, 60 years old, 20 years old, who have something they can't forgive. And so she wants us to go into the new year, and this is a 21-day program on how to forgive everyone. Mm. It has a narrative, and it has exercises, and it has some journaling. So just about anything and anyone who's ever hurt you can be forgiven if you go through this book. And she also has these lessons on CDs so that you can listen to them, uh, you know, when you are ready to go there, you know. But it, what, what a great way, though, if you could really get that done, mm -hmm. to start 2014 with a clear mind and a clear heart and really go after and zero in on those dreams you've been looking now, for. And as you look through that, you know, some of the tips that she, get, that she gives, I mean, are they really practical and, and, and applicable? Yes, of course, they, they really are. You know, it's a sort of... It asks you to go deep inside and you're going to feel jitter. And so you, it helps that you can meditate mm. and calm yourself down. But she asks you these questions that are thought provoking. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, and you know, you have your mother, you, you won't forgive your mother for, mm. you know, and many of us try to avoid that kind of thinking. So it, 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 it prompts you to really go deep inside and let it go. Okay, before we move on to the next book, I'm just curious, is there any of her personal story in this book? I, her last book, Peace from Broken Pieces, right, no. was talked about her journey, basically after falling off the grid, exactly. becoming so popular. And her daughter's death. And yes. her daughter's death, absolutely. No, none of her stories, but she, I mean, in the in the introduction, she talks about she, is an, she can be an author in this because her life has been in so much pain. Mm. And she has had to learn to forgive and to move out of her own way to move forward, and I think she's doing a marvelous job. Okay, very good. We better hasten on. Yes. Uh, the next one is so interesting. If you can see it, you can be it. I know. This is a great story. Chef Jeff Henderson, he has his own show on television, but his life started out very differently. By the age of 21, he was a kingpin drug dealer, and he was arrested, went to jail for 15 years, decided he would not come out and be a statistic. So he did whatever he could, his boot camp way, and he became the head chef at the Bellagio's and wrote a book called Cooked. And since then, this is his fourth book, and he's saying, listen, make no excuses. So they're kind of connected, these two books, you know. He says, you've got to exercise some self-control. You know, part of all of us who wants everything now, be a sacrificer, he says. You know, gamble, but gamble sensibly. Mm -hmm. You know, just don't throw away the store. And he says, learn to adapt to the situation. And for him, that was hugely important because he needed to reinvent himself, mm -hmm. even with a, a record, and he successfully did that, and he has created created an amazing and wonderful life. In, indeed, that's an ama amazing story. Okay, yeah. and then finally, before we run out of time, trusting the current. All right, Marva, <laughs> tell me about this. Linda Polio. Um, is, is this fiction or nonfiction? This is, I know. This is, <laughs> <laughs> what is it? We all ask the same question. But this is actually fiction. Okay. But it is an automatic narrative fiction. What Linda Polio is, was a very high-powered uh, PR and advertising executive, and she got so burned out she had to run away from her life to, to um, Sedona. And while she was in a Sedona, this voice kept talking to her, talking to her. And this is the voice of two African American, an African American woman in the South, channeling this work. And this work is about trust in your life where it is and don't go against the grain. So it was a message she needed at the time and she 
literally automatically wrote, and she wrote in African American vernacular of the South. Mm. So you know, this was very different and very very interesting. This is very different. It's very different, but it's about transition. And Ada May, who was the protagonist, she was just a woman who didn't want to be married, didn't want to have children, didn't want to cook, and she had to honor that. So even though she was in love with this guy, she knew that it wouldn't last. So she went on to live her life. Very interesting. Very interesting. Yes, indeed. you brought us an intriguing one. I <laughs> yeah. told everybody that you did. All right, Marva, as always, thank you so much. All right, Debbie. All right, thank you. Week. We'll see you next week. Okay. Thank you for joining us. We'll see you tomorrow on Rise America. I'm Debbie Turner Bell. Bye bye.